So let's say I've got a little shop or a store or a house or something, and I want to put a second floor on that in SketchUp. How do I do that? Let me show you. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm sharing my screen. We're going back to SketchUp. And what I want to do is I've got a little model here. I've got kind of a model here that I'm kind of messing around with. That's, that's pretty good. But if I wanted to make a second floor in here, you can see I'm kind of having a little issue. <laughs> um, I've made a second floor tag. I've made it my active layer. And now what I want to do is just kind of work on that. So maybe what I'll do, I'll just show you how this doesn't work. If I grab a little rectangle tool and put it on top of my house here and try to draw, you see what happens. Basically what happens, it sticks to the existing model and it closes off whatever spaces it can. But I don't have anything I can work with here. So I've got you know, like if I start trying to close these up and grabbing pieces and pulling them up, I'm still going to have individual elements that won't work. So how do I not have that happen? What I got to do is group my first layer. Let me say that again. Grouping things makes it so that those will stay together and they won't affect the rest of your model. So if I want to put a second floor on top of this, my first floor has to be a group. Select all control click make me a group poof now if i said give me that rectangle tool and put it on the back here it's going to say i can do that and i'll put it there now you'll notice it looks kind of the same but it's closed off everything and if i use my push pull tool that whole thing is a platform i can pull that up maybe my floors are eight inches thick and say i'll pull it up eight and then what i can do is put my interior walls on top of this, pull those up just the way we did on the first floor from making um, walls from plans, and then I can carry on with that. I hope that answers any questions you may have and that you are swimming. See ya.